every year. Our health is also affected by climate change. 13 News reporter John Macaluso talked with a local expert who was part of the nation's latest climate assessment. This is the authoritative, the definitive assessment of how our country is doing with climate change. The fifth national climate assessment was rolled out in D.C. today and shares information on climate change's impacts, risks, and responses. A University of Arizona professor was there. It was a great event. It was really exciting and inspirational. I think one of the things I love is solutions focused. And they focused a lot on social justice and environmental justice and really trying to find ways to thrive in our changing climate. Ernst praised the work the city of Tucson is doing to mitigate the impacts of climate change, but says the report reveals more work is ahead. We have a lot of work still to do. Um, so that was one of the key takeaways. There's a big focus on heat, air quality, uh, different chapters on that. I was actually part of the human health chapter, and then I led a cross-cutting box on COVID and climate change, looking at parallels there. And the health impacts caused by climate change include more than COVID. You have some things that are really sort of in your face, like the extreme heat. I mean, in Tucson, we know that really well, right? We are just now kind of coming out of that. Um, but there are some other things that, you know, we may not think about as much in, in Arizona, like what I work on, mosquito-borne diseases, the, the chance of those increasing over the next decades, et cetera, is, is, um, is relatively strong. The rollout coincides with President Biden's announcement of billions of dollars for climate resilience. And I think it's really exciting to hear that there's more resources that are going to be going towards this. Um, shoring up some of that infrastructure to have more resilient communities is absolutely essential. Reporting in Tucson, John Macaluso, 13 News.